I'm Musa Kawila and welcome to the Pope of Pop Culture. If you're on your phone, I hope you're taking pictures of your celebrities, your influencers and pictures of me, okay? Chomi, we are evaging up. Baguette the bitches, when I went love, oh, I am telling you, bitch, I am Musa Kawula, and welcome to the Pope of Pop Culture. One of the top stories that literally had me absolutely gagged was not our Zulu king, that King Misu Zulu bitch, is he not a cheat? Is, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. So anyway, it turns out that he was cheating, or he is cheating rather, on his wife, you know, the queen, and whatnot, and cheating on the queen with his bitch, the Sikhs, oh my God, did you see Sikhs hair? We need to talk about that for a hot second because what the fuck is that hair, bitch? I know my hair is messy, but mm -mm. let me get me a drink. She's stressing me. So anyway, Sikhs, you know what? She's heartful, she's done being a side chick and being hidden. And when she took to social media, bitch, she took to the TikTok to reveal that, you know what, she's been like getting it down and getting it good with the king, this king, Mrs. Zulu, or Mrs. Zulu, I don't know this king's name, but anyway, so Sika is like, you know one, I didn't approach the king, bitch, the king came to me, in my head I'm wondering, I'm like, where the fuck did you meet? Like, how the fuck did this happen, this whole situation? But anyway, now there is also an audio that is making rounds. I'm not sure for the audio whether it is the actual king and whatnot. The king is a swearer, just like us, and I am living for you. The queen is like, the king is like, you know what? Hey, that, that fucking voice note is so hectic. If you haven't heard it, please find it on the TikTok. It's like literally everywhere. So anyway, I know that you guys is messy. So now you went and fetched Sikhe for her hair. But in the hairline, it's literally like here at the back of her head. And she doesn't give a fuck. She's like, that is my man and whatnot. And of which I do believe that they probably had a situation because there is literally pictures of them in different locations, pictures of them in the car and whatnot but now the king apparently i'm also hearing that the queen is leaving the king and what of which i don't think she's gonna leave if we're being honest she's just you know what ever since the actual king died and this one took over there's just been drama in the zulu kingdom and it's just useless drama because obviously zulu men can't keep their shit to themselves bitch they want to fuck everything with the whole and it turns out that our king is not any different like he's literally ready to get it down with this ugly ass seeker and i am like so embarrassed but then you know what seeker bitch congratulations you ended up with the king you ended up with daddy because you know we like, we like us that Zulu daddy for us. But anyway, it is what it is. One of the things that I had seen as well, just the other day, we know that AKA got buried. Hmm. And I'm also very tired of talking about this and whatnot. But then, what absolutely shocked me was, because obviously at the time or at the day of the funeral, we saw this big as tombstone and it was whatever written his name, AKA Super Mega, whatever, 1988 till 2023, Wara Wara. Fine. So everybody was posing next to this tombstone and then we thought, you know what, it was actually like veiled or unveiled, I don't know what the fuck. But anyway, now we're also learning that actually that tombstone, some people are also saying it got stealth because some of our friends, they went, you know what, to pay tribute and visit the tombstone and visit the, the graveyard basically to go, you know, whatever the fuck those nasty ass people were doing. And then when they get there to their surprise, there is no tombstone bitch. And obviously they took to social media, they're like, oh my God, somebody stealth that tombstone bitch. And we're not, but then according to the people, you know, everybody talking and everybody saving their own theories, of which to me, this theory makes more sense. When they saying, obviously, at the time of the liation of the man, hmm, you know, they couldn't, uh, put up the tombstone and whatever because I don't know but anyway apparently you have to wait for like a year before you could do like a tombstone or you can unveil a tombstone and whatever whatever so that's what it actually happened hence when everybody got there they could not find this tombstone but you know it's caused like quite a stir on social media and we're like over here and obviously we're talking we're like what the fuck had happened but now you know so we can move on aka rest in peace or in whatever just rest it's cool 
you done abused uh, Nicole Nyaba, you abused bon Bonang, our friend, the original Bonang, you put DJs in through hell. So I don't know, you can just rest, it's cool. We're just gonna move on. But anyway, let me tell you, let me get me a drink. So I made my way to this funky ass podcast. Oh my God, I regret it. I am not gonna fucking lie. I regret it. It was such a nightmare. You know, Oma Kwapene, it's like a new thing. I think they're like, they've been like on YouTube for like a month or something. So anyway, then uh, Rob, of which that's the girl that I know, you know, she's like a friend of mine and whatnot. And then she invited me to come to the thing, right? Initially, I'm going to be honest with you. So anyway, so in my head, I was like, you know what? Okay, I'll just go for support because me and Rob were supposed to like have lunch and whatsoever, it had nothing to do with that funky ass podcast. But then last minute, she's like, you know what, bitch, come through to the podcast and whatsoever. I'm like, okay, no, that's cool. I would like to see what you guys actually do at your thing, right? So then I'm making my way to Randberg to that white man studio, bitch. That white man, I'm thinking he's racist as fuck, by the way. We need to talk about that for a hot second because I'm like, okay, one, okay, he cool. And then I didn't like the way he was like treating Rob and Queen Lelo, that's a bitch. We're still gonna talk about that. But in my arrival, you know, he's acting like he's doing these people a favor. And I'm like, you know what? These people are actually paying you. So you are their client. You're supposed to hold them like nice and cute and whatsoever. But fuck that wine man. I forgot his name, but his shit is at like six, whatever. Y'all people don't go there. White people can go shoot, but I'm just like, I'm begging my black people. Yes, that fucking Justice Studios. It is so horrible. I hated every second of it. But anyway, so we get there and then, you know what, we chill. Rob comes in, you know, Rob, our friend, she knows that we drink some of this good shit. She's prepared. She has the hunters and whatever. And I'm like, you know what, I'm willing to, you know what, show me. I can show up for you, but I would want to be in the background, bitch. I don't want to appear on the thing because they don't even have the right lighting, bitch. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? You know, I just want to be in the background, you know, like how we did Doromongis. And like, I don't want to be on camera, bitch. You know, I have enough camera time, so I don't need, you know. So that's cool. The, the podcast starts now. We have, okay, the guest was Queen Lelo. I, I don't know who Queen Lelo is, and I don't think you guys know who... Queen Lelo is, but I'ma tell you in a hot second like who the fuck this bitch is. So fine, the camera stopped rolling, and we're gonna get our shit in. And all of a sudden, now I am the host. I'm like, oh, oh my lord, now I am the host. But you know what? A bitch is always ready. A bitch was born ready. I'm like, okay, fine. If you want me to to host your shit, bitch, of which it is wrong, but I'm a you know what, I'm, I'm gonna take over and whatever. So then we start and then we had the first part of the interview and then obviously Queen Lelo, like off camera, she's talking that, you know what, she is AKA's side chick. She's been with Mosam Selegu. She's been with, uh, who's that, Master KJ that fucks everybody and anything with the whole. Uh, she's been with, who else? That one that got the divorce, that divorce that couldn't end, uh, the soccer player, Deco Modisa, right? And this bitch has been with all of them, right? So I'm like, okay, cool. This is a story. We can get down to it. I'm listening. I'm like, you know, I'm here for it. This is juicy. And you know me. I like me a good story, right? So that's fine. Uh, we start the interview. I'm like, okay, we're going to start with AKA, you know, how you feeling and whatever. How did your relationship start and where and when? Because we know that obviously AKA has dated and done fucked everybody. So I needed context for us because I'm not going to sit in that shit and let that bitch bullshit me and bullshit us and lie and lie and lie, right? So she's going on about her shit. And, you know, she's just like all over the show. That's number one. I'm like, you know what? Okay, we need to start again because, bitch, obviously, we've never done an interview before. We need to, like, do this shit again because what the fuck are you saying? She's like, spoke for 10 minutes and she was giving nothing. Like, it was a whole lot of nothing. And I'm like, you know what? Cut this fucking cameras, bitch. We're starting all over. Okay, now we're having the AKA talk again. And then she's saying, the person she last dated was AKA and it was last year. I'm like, okay, last year, this was the time when 
Nadia and AK started dating. She's like, yeah, it was around that time and whatnot. But then we know that obviously AKA is a druggie. I'm like, okay, we need to find out. I'm like, did you do drugs with this AKA? This bitch is not talking. But then we also seen the original Bonang taking the same drugs with AKA. So, you know, she's not going to come and bullshit us at least. Worst of all, it is not me. She's not gonna come and come fucking lie to me and waste my fucking time at that fucking podcast that is so dark, you can't even see your fucking finger in it. It's so terrible, right? But anyway, the, the interview is continuing and then we're backtracking. Uh, now I'm like, okay, we need to talk about Musam Selego. Okay, you've been with this Musam Selego bitch and then what? And then it turns out and then this bitch like, Oh, Musa, I'm gonna show you, you know, like I have receipts on my phone. I'm like, okay, bitch. Okay, for a second, I was like, okay. Maybe I shouldn't see the receipts, but I'm like, okay, no, bitch, I need to see the receipts, actually. I need to know exactly what you're talking about, because the story is not make sure. So, fine, uh, she shows me this clip and whatever, and then when she plays the clip, she's like, oh, do you see most? I'm like, no, I don't see most. I, I see just your ugly friends, your regular ass friends. I'm not seeing the actual thing that I'm supposed to be seeing. Oh, before we get to that, she started playing like a porno thing. It was so wrong. I'm like, bitch, we are gay in this house. We don't give a shit about none of this stuff. Just give me the juice. Give me the actual thing. Show me conversation on the WhatsApp. Show me something that, you know, that I can help back you up with. Because now I'm like your witness to your nonsense, right? So, Fwang, uh, she shows the picture and whatever. She was sitting next to... Musam Selegu's son. It's not even Musam Selegu. It's the son. And then Pumele, right? You know, Pumele has the two girlfriends and whatever. And then she's saying, because now I caught it on. I'm like, you know what, bitch? This is the son. It's not Musam Selegu. You can't say you were dating Selegu then. Because if you're saying you're dating Selegu, we know one Selegu, the, the whole man with the many wives, right? So perspective, bitch. So that's cool. And then she's like, no, she's like with Mus the, the son, then Pumele Lom Selek and whatever. And they were just sitting, basically. They were like in the same setting. I didn't, I didn't get anything that seemed like, you know what, there was like dating or there was fucking. There was no kissation. There was no intimacy or intimate moment, basically, in the clip that that bitch was showing me. This Queen Lelo bitch. She's so terrible at interviews. But anyway, she's showing me and whatever, and then we had to move on. I'm like, okay, we need to talk about, okay, you said you were with Teko Modise because how, how messed up this shit was, we couldn't even get to Teko Modise because I think she was just lying. What a lying ass bitch. And I'm just like so sick, I was so mad. And then, who's that other nigga that she was with? Um, who's that nigga? It was four niggas. Big Zulu, oh yeah. Then she was with Big Zulu, right? She says, oh, I'm with Big Zulu and whatnot. I'm like, okay, we know that on record, we know that Big Zulu is busy with Gigi Lamaine and uh, Gigi Lamaine just recently accused um, Big Zulu, this big fat Zulu of harassing her and whatnot, of which you, you guys are still gonna find out about that story, but just know that I am telling you, it's still probably gonna, you know how slow these people are, it's gonna come out in the next couple of months, but Gigi Lamaine is accusing a big fat Zulu of harassing her and all that stuff and whatever, and the same Gigi Lamaine went and said, you know, in their circle of friends and whatever, uh, she went and said, you know that big Zulu has a child, right? Like a baby mama and whatsoever. And then Gigi Lamaine said, this baby mama is on drugs, is on cocaine and whatnot. So, you know, there's like a whole mess because obviously I'm thinking, you know what, nobody literally, you know, the hot boys don't really like want to fuck Gigi Lamaine or be busy with her and whatever. So she went and found the ugliest man, the gorilla in the industry. And then she found that big fat Zulu and then it was going to be a thing for her. And then once she, she, once she lands this big fat Zulu, then she still can't act. She's going around accusing the baby mamas and doing all that stuff. And Gigi Lamaine also invited me to a podcast. I am not coming. Let's put that on record. Your shit is too dark. Can you buy fucking lights, bitches? You know, I am not coming to your thing, baby. Like, forget it. It is not happening. Especially after this whole nonsense I went to, the story I'm telling. I am not showing up in your people's podcast because your people don't even know what you're doing. I am just thinking it, it is laziness. It is bullshit. There is no effort. And I'm not becoming a part of your stupid ass mess. And I said what I said, bitch. So anyway, moving right along with that, and I'm still at that 
I'm not copying any nonsense, right? And then, okay, now we're going to wrap up the interview. And by the time I knew the interview wrapped up, I was like literally up to here. I'm like, you know what? It's so sad that I even agreed to be a part of this nonsense and shit. But then it had happened because I was doing it for Rob. Rob is my friend. Told me, yeah, you did me dirty. I I'm sorry. But you know, get your coin to bitch and do whatever the fuck you're doing. Okay, this bitch, now we're moving towards the end of the interview. This Queen Lelo, this is the star. This is the person we're interviewing. This is the person we're needing to get to her shit, right? And now we're moving towards the end of the interview. This bitch, she's saying, oh, she want to pee, she want to pee. And like, okay, bitch, hold on for a second. Because, you know, we're almost done and whatsoever because they literally have an hour and they pay like 500 rand an hour by that fucking studio, by the way. And then it's like 1.8 if the white man is going to edit for you. Of which in my head, I am thinking, how the fuck are you going to, how are you going to get a white man to edit a shit that is shot in Zulu? We are speaking Zulu, we are having, we swearing, we're having a good time. Then you get a wine man that don't even understand nonsense. That Afrikaans fucking man to come in, edit our shit. I'm like, I'm like, Rob Badge, fall in line, get like black people or do something. Because whatever this white man is doing, he's not doing you a favor and fuck him. And fuck the juicer or jester or whatever. Fuck that nigga. But anyway, uh, this bitch now, she want to pee the whole time. She's busy jumping doing all of that funky stuff. I'm like, bitch, get your shit together. Okay, we can like cut for a second, bitch. You go pee, we come back, and then, you know, and then we can wrap up, and of which I, I literally wanted it to go. I'm like, you know what, bitch, get out of this fucking frame. We're gonna conclude this shit and whatever. So she's like, you know what, she's not going. And I hope they didn't cut my part because I said what I said, that bitch lied. Queen Lelo, you lied, bitch. You wasted my time, wasted my effort. I don't even think you deserve an interview anytime soon, bitch. And I don't even think people are going to listen to your song. What's that fucking song? Oh, she has a new song, that bitch. So my tag is, and it features Big Fat Zulu. And obviously they fucking, so Big Fat Zulu is trying to support the struggling bitch and whatever. I don't think anyone is interested in the song. I'm not interested. The only thing I, I seen you do, that, let me tell you what that bitch did, actually. Let me tell you. This Queen Lelo bitch, of which I don't mind, you know, I'm fine, we're comfortable in like, you know, in our skin, we're good. And then that bitch, because she was wearing the small bodysuit, and that bodysuit keep popping bitch every two seconds, and then she want to be naked. It was such a hard mess, it was such a mess, I am not going to lie about that. And then that bitch, that shit keeps popping, now it's my job every two, because nobody wants to touch her fucking pussy and shit, and then I'm like over there closing that shit every two seconds, and then she moves a little bit, and then it pops, and then I must go fix it again. Bitch, bitch. But anyway, it's fun, I don't give a fuck. You know what, just get your shit together next time and learn, I don't know, learn how to do interviews and probably, I don't know, show your ass, but also know how to handle a conversation. Because I remember I had this one friend, bitch, let me tell you. I had this one friend and I loved my friend so dearly, but my friend was like so stupid as well, stupid as Queen Lelo. The only thing that they can serve on the table, you know when you're sitting with men, we all love men, but sometimes... I remember, okay, let me tell you this one story, right? And then we was in the sand tin, me and my friend, we was going, going to have a good time and whatever. So we get there, we get to the news cafe, bitch, and then it was still early. So when we're sitting, minding our own business, and then these two Jollof men invite us to the table, right? We're joining them, and they were, I think it was like a soccer night because it was during the week. So they're watching soccer. You know, a bitch never cared about soccer, but a bitch can still hold a conversation. Well, I'm listening to what they're saying, they're talking, they're talking. Not my friend in the middle of a soccer match. That bitch's friend of mine, she got on top of the table, she starts taking off her clothes, she's talking. I'm like, okay, bitch, it's fine. We're going to get to that part. But right now, the timing is wrong. I don't know if I'm making sense, right? So that bitch is like that kind of bitch that everything, if she's out of debt, the only thing she knows is throw her pussy around, take off her clothes, it, it was just a hard mess, but anyway, I'm never coming to that all my Kopeni nonsense of which I am thinking that bitch lied, of which I'm starting to question all the shit that happens, uh, you know, with the other episode, because I'm thinking it's just bitches that are chasing cloud bitch, and they can't even back their shit up. I'm like, you know what? Fuck this nonsense. I'm out. Fuck that all my Kopeni. Y'all go watch, and good luck to y'all, but I'm not watching. Bye.